Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover visitor design pattern implementation. Uh, before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch visitor design pattern introduction, visitor design pattern class diagram, and uh, visitor design pattern real time example video tutorials. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay, and uh, now we will see the scenario where we can use uh, visitor design pattern. So here you can see the school, right? Uh, so in that school, uh, there are a lot of uh, kids are studying. So one day uh, school management decides all the kids uh, health checkup should be done. Then what school management will do is school management will approach uh, the doctor. The doctor should be a child uh, specialist. Uh, then what this uh, child specialist will do is he will uh, visit the school and uh, he will uh, check health status of each and every child and uh, he will give uh, the report to the school management okay so here uh, the doctor is uh, nothing but a visitor and uh, object structure is kids collection of uh, kids okay and uh, uh, each kid is uh, visitable uh, or element object okay so this is the best example of uh, visitor design pattern this is the class diagram of the scenario which we have uh, just discussed. Uh, in the top you can see visitable interface and it has uh, accept method uh, which accept uh, visitor object. This accept method is uh, abstract method and uh, child is a concrete class uh, which implements uh, visitable interface and uh, provide implementation of uh, accept method. Okay, And uh, child has uh, two attributes. Uh, the first one is name, the second one is uh, health status and it has uh, getter and uh, setter method for uh, uh, those attributes suppose if you want to create uh, a child you have to use uh, the constructor child and you have to pass the name of the child okay and uh, here you can see a visitor interface uh, and it has uh, abstract method visit and it accept uh, visitable object okay so in this case uh, visitable object is uh, child okay and uh, child specialist doctor it is a concrete class and uh, it implements uh, visitor interface and uh, provide implementation of uh, visit method and it has uh, only one attribute uh, name and it has uh, getter method for uh, that name uh, suppose if you want to create a child specialist uh, doctor object then you have to use this constructor and you have to pass the name of the child specialist doctor and here you can see a school class uh, it has a child list uh, the child list uh, contains all the kids uh, who are uh, studying in the school okay uh, and uh, here you can see client uh, class it has main method uh, which is used to explain this uh, visitor design button i will open eclipse and i will show you the code uh, so that you will understand this one very clearly i have opened eclipse uh, now we will see the code uh, here you can see the interface visitable and it has uh, accept method uh, it accept uh, visitor object and the child is a concrete class uh, it implements uh, visitable interface and provide implementation of uh, accept method so this accept method accept uh, visitor object and uh, it allow visitor to uh, visit the child object and this uh, child has uh, uh, two attributes uh, name and health status uh, suppose if you want to create a new child object uh, you have to use this constructor by passing the name of the child and uh, next one is uh, visitor interface uh, it has abstract method visit it accept uh, visitable object uh, child specialist uh, doctor class which is a concrete class uh, it implements a visitor interface and it provides implementation of uh, visit method uh, this visit method accept uh, visitable object so in this case uh, visitable object is uh, child object right so what this method does is it will check uh, uh, health status of uh, the child which you are passing to this visit method and uh, it will change uh, health status to uh, good or bad based on the uh, health condition of the child okay and uh, this class has uh, one attribute uh, which is uh, name of the child specialist doctor uh, so if you want to create a child specialist doctor object uh, you have to use this uh, constructor by passing the name of the doctor 
this is a school class. Uh, it has array list of uh, child. So this child list contains all the kids who and all are studying in the school. And uh, here you can see a do health checkup uh, method. So what this uh, method will do is, uh, it will do the health checkup of each and every child in the school. Uh, so here what I am doing is, uh, I am creating a child specialist doctor object uh, which is a visitor object. Uh, then I am iterating a child list and I am getting uh, uh, each and every child object from the child list and each child object will accept the uh, child specialist doctor object. So here child specialist doctor object is visitor object and child is uh, visitable object. So this child object accept the uh, child specialist doctor object so that uh, child specialist doctor can uh, do the health checkup on uh, the child and change the uh, health status to uh, good or bad based on the health condition of the child okay and uh, next class is client and it has main method so here what i am doing is uh, i am calling uh, do health checkup uh, method of uh, school okay so i'll just run this program and i will show you the output So here you can see uh, the child specialist doctor uh, uh, did the health checkup on the child John and found health is not good. So update that the health status is bad. So like that uh, uh, all the kids uh, health checkup is done by uh, Dr. Smith. So you can see the output here. So this is a very good example of uh, visitor design pattern. I hope you understand uh, visitor design pattern implementation clearly and I have put together all this uh, sample code in my blog called uh, RamJTE. If you want to get a uh, sample code, please visit this uh, blog and uh, get the sample code. And uh, this is about uh, uh, implementation of uh, visitor design pattern. Thanks for watching. Bye.